Betvix here for an overview of my lathe turning experiments. These are exercises in getting accustomed to using the lathe and its performance. The lathe is a Microtech mini lathe. It's um, four, I believe it's four and a half by 17 inch. It has a one half horsepower motor on it. I picked it up from a Craig Seller about three weeks ago. Um, I think it's from around 2007. It's been used, but it's been well maintained. So I've been uh, working in some metals to try to get familiar with the lathe and its tooling. So let me give you a quick overview. What I've been making is what I call capsules. Uh, they're made out of aluminum and the most recent one is made out of steel. Um, the idea was to get familiar with turning, tooling, materials, and how to use the functionality of the lathe. This is my first experiment. It's made out of half-inch aluminum stock. Uh, the exercise here was to create a close fit between the stopper and the bottle of the capsule. As you can see, my turning didn't leave a very good finish. And in fact, my counter boring went clear through the cylinder. And the cap was a very loose fit for the body. I know my mistake in terms of the cap was that as I measured the ID of the bore, which was 5 sixteenths of an inch, and I snuck up on it as I was turning the cap. I knew how much I had to remove, but I forgot that uh, my turn on the hand wheel was taking off that amount per side, which amounts to twice that amount on the diameter. Consequently, when I did my first test fit, I found that I had already well overshot my mark. So at that point, I stopped the exercise, um, never completed the cap. You can see it's pretty rough. You can see the little tet where I parted it off. And of course, the hole in the bottom where my counter bore was <laughs> a lot longer than the amount of my cutoff. So anyway, it was a learning experience and that was my first attempt. My second attempt, again, had the same criteria to make a capsule with a tight fit between the cap and the body. And I was successful in this case. So I completed and finished the work and polished it. As you can see, it's quite a nice little container. I'll stand it up so you can get a full height view. The finish is still a little bit rough. Um, as I did the cross feed on the lathe to do to turn the diameter. Uh, I was using the hand wheel and I was turning much too fast. So it created a screw effect pattern across the body, which actually is quite decorative, but it's not what I was targeting. You can see I improved slightly on the cap where we still have a slight effect of the screw design, but it's much more uh, subtle. All the uh, corners are eased, both on the bottom and both lips of the seal and of the top. And the fit between the body and the cap is just what I was aiming for. In fact, if you stand it up and drop the cap into the body, it's cushioned by the air escaping. So you can see that's quite subtle, nice effect. So I was very happy with this. All right, my next exercise took the process one step further. You can see on my third attempt, I have a much better finish on the aluminum, although I still have a little bit of that screw effect, although it's much finer. Again, I chamfered all the edges and polished the result. Have a nice detail on the top. And the, uh, the objective of this exercise was to create a screw 
type fit between the body and the cap. And you can see I was able to achieve that with threads cut on the ID and the OD of the cap. Goes together quite nicely and forms a very nice seal between the body and the cap. You can see that line is nice and tight. Now, the way I created the threads is I began by using the thread cutting ability on the lathe to cut a 3 8 by 16 pitch thread that's a national course using a 60 degree V-blade to turn the screw. Uh, when I got done, unfortunately, the threading on this was very rough. So what I wound up doing was taking a die, again 3 8 by 16 national course, and threading a die over my remaining, or my cut threads, to uh, further accentuate them and turn them into uh, a standard depth. On the body, rather than try to turn the ID threads, internal threads, on the lathe, I uh, drilled, counter-drilled to uh, diameter of 3 sixteenths of an inch. I'm sorry, did I say 3 sixteenths? 5 sixteenths of an inch. And then I used a uh, a tap to cut the threads on the ID. Anyway, the, the net was I was pleased with the result of this and achieved all my objectives. Of course, I still have some work to do to improve my, uh, my turning to remove all these artifacts of the lathe. All right. Yesterday was my fourth attempt, and this time I went to reproduce the aluminum screw cap bottle, but this time in steel instead of aluminum. And this is the result. Um, you see the detailing on the bottom is a little bit different. I use my cutoff tool to put a profile on the bottom of the cap. Uh, the, the turning is much smoother. Uh, I did some file work on the lathe after I cut the outs turned the outside diameter and used some uh, emery cloth to smooth it up. Have a nice detail on the top, and the threads were cut pretty much the same method as previously. First, by turning the threads on the lathe, the result was even more chatter than I had gotten in the aluminum. So I backed off that and again used the die to do the final threading on the cap, and I used the tap to cut the threading on the ID of the body. I then polished everything on my buffing wheel using emery powder and black emery powder, and again I'm happy with the result. And that's, that's a quick overview of my lathe turning capsules uh, for to date each with a varying degree of success in the endeavor. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.